So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another great day of our GFGP this week and the continuation of our linked list playlist. So today's, today's question name is that we need to delete the nodes having greater value on right. So it is something like uh, the leaders in array or you can say the next greater or higher element which we have covered in stack, right? So except that we have here given in the format of linked list. Correct. So before starting here, if, not, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can learn, maintain and grow our streak together. So today is day, I don't know, 305, I guess. Okay, so let us see some of the input test cases here. So if you can see, it is given 12, 15, 10, 11, 5, 6, 2, 3. So in the output, it is given 15, 11, 6, and 3. And let us see the explanation as well. So for the 12, why it is not the answer? Because among the elements present in the right of this 12, there is, there must be one element or greater than one element which is greater than 12. That is why this 12 is not in the answer. If you can see, 15 is there which is greater than 12 in the right hand side of this given 12, right? So that is why that's not an answer. For the 15, it is the largest one. There is no element in the right lesser than, greater than 15. Similarly for 10, you can see in the right hand side, there's 11 which is greater than 10. So that's why 10 is not an answer. For 11, there is no element in the right which is greater than 11. So that's why 11 an answer and similarly for 6 and 3. Correct. So what would be the methods to solve this question? So, and since uh, our uh, uh, what to say, limitations is there that it's a singly linked list. So definitely we are only bound to traverse from left hand side to right hand side. We cannot do a traversal from this side to right to left, right? Because it's a singly linked list. So can we do, what can we do? So method one I can say is that for each and every element, let's say for this element, right? I will traverse in all the elements present in the right of this 12 and I will check that if if a particular node value is greater than my current current element then what I will say that I will make a new linked list in the answer right so for this case there is 15 there and if it is it's greater than 12 so that's why this will not contribute in an answer right similarly my current move to then 15 then I will again traverse in all the elements on the right hand side and I will check that all the elements are smaller so I will make a new linked list with the head as 15 and then similarly for 11, I will traverse again in the all right hand side and then for 5, similarly I will do for it, right? So you can see that for each and every element, you are traversing all the elements to its right. To check that if there are any element present, uh, greater than this current element or not. And that's why we are, dis and then that, that's how we are deciding that that current element should be answered or not, right? So this method will give you an O of n square, time complexity, right? What would the space? You are not using any space. We are just using traversal. So it would be O of n, O of 1. Correct? If you see the constraint, it is 10 power 5. So constraint is 10 power 5. So that means you are using an iterations 10 power 10. You are using a time complexity of 10 power of n square, right? And definitely 10 power 10 is what? Greater than 10 power 8. So even, even if our code and approach is right, so, but due to this kind time complexity, it will give us the TLE, right? So we'll not code this approach. Let us see the method two now. So method two, what we can do here is the, that's a very uh, good question in stack. If the same problem, let's say given in an array, you need to, do, you need to find the same thing, the value greater than it's right. So what do we do? We make a stack. And we push the first value, let's say 12. And our next element is 15. Right? So definitely it's a big element. So that means this 12 cannot be an answer. So we will just keep on peeking on the stack that if uh, while the top element is greater than my incoming element, then keep on popping it. So we'll pop it and 15. Similarly, I will see that after 15, a lower element is coming, then that is a no problem. I if higher elements have a problem, right? So 15, if there is 16, then we have 15 answer, we have pop it. So that's not a problem now. So 11. 11 ke baad 5 again, 5 is smaller than my topmost element, so just maintain the order. Now 6 comes, right? 6 is greater than 5, so we need to pop this out. We need to pop the element until and unless it is forming a order, decreasing order. Ab pe 6 ko 5 se compare kiya tha, 5 chota tha, we popped it out. But now again 6 will be compared with this, the remaining top elements, that is 11. Now 6 is smaller than 11, so koi dikkat nahi, yaar. 6 ko push kar do. Then we have 3. 3 is again smaller than the topmost element, so I'm just push it. And now if you see that all the elements present in the stack is actually your answer. If you just pop it out, you will get 3, 6, 11 and 15, right? So although you have gotten a reversed answer, but then again, it is a right answer, right? If you just compare the value 
the values. So it is 15, 11, 6, and 3. So 15, 11, 6, and 3, right? So this is the this is one thing we can do here. और हम इसे लिंक लिस्ट में भी यूज कर सकते हैं यार जैसे ही हमारे पास क्या होगा हम एक यहाँ पे ऑपरेशन डाल देंगे कि स्टैक डॉट पीक जो है स्टैक डॉट पीक जो है डॉट नेक्स्ट एक डॉट स्टैक डॉट पीक डॉट नेक्स्ट इक्व टू हेड वी कैन मेक दैट ऑपरेशन हियर राइट एंड उसके बाद हम बस ये करते जाएंगे कि हेड इज इक्व टू हेड डॉट नेक्स्ट हेड डॉट नेक्स्ट करेक्ट ठीक है ओके 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 सो आई होप यू गॉट अ method two the second method that how we can solve this question so let's again uh, so what would this space and time complexity o of n would be the time complexity that we are traversing each and every node in our link list and o of n would be the auxiliary space because we're using a stack in the worst case we'll be pushing all the elements in the stack so that is why o of n again the time constraint what is the constraint constraint is 10 power 5 and we are actually using o of n that is we're using 10 power 5 iterations which is less than 10 power 8 so this code this code would definitely get submitted and not get a TLE, right? So please pause this video and try to code this approach by yourself and then we can see the third approach. Okay, so that's the method to approach coded in Java. So first we are pushing a dummy node with the integer.max value. Why max and not main? Because what we need, we need that it should not be compared with the first value given in our node, right? So where's my pen? Just a sec. Hmm. So that is the reason we are pushing an infinite value right infinite value so if, if the next value come that is 12 right because what we are doing right for 12 we are comparing with the next value that is 15 if it is greater then we are popping it out right so for this infinity it will always be greater it will always be greater right so the next element will it will come it will false the inequality right hope so much so that's why we are pushing an infinity here because if infinity ko kisi numbers we compare kuro, 12 15 17 18 bada hi hoga, and that is why we need not need to pop this out all right and this will let's name it as new node and whenever a new element comes let's say 15 right and the while loop will will stop that it will not uh, pop this 15 out so it will just say new node so this new node is now is stored at stack dot peak right so stack dot peak dot next is nothing but this head head is nothing but the pointer which we are using to iterate in our link list right so i hope you got the point i don't think a dry run requ required for this problem so let us compile and run and then we can hit the submit button and we can then finally see the last approach so great as we discussed this solution will definitely pass all the test cases and will not hit the tle for any one of them right so what is the method three now so method three so this question is very easy if we can traverse it from the back to the That is from uh, right to left. Right? How am I saying that? So let us dry run for this test case 11, 5, 6, 2 and 3. So let's just write it down 11, 5, 6, 2 and 3. Right? If we are traversing from here, let's say we have, a, uh, we have some sort of privilege to traverse from here. Then what we would be seeing that this 3 would definitely be an answer. The last element will always answer. Hoga. Now what we need to find, we just need to find the element which is greater than this 3. And when the element doesn't get the element, then all nodes will remove the nodes, right? Like we will remove the nodes and then we find the element greater than 3, right? So this will, this will, this will be included in our answer. Now when we don't get the big element from 6, right? We will keep on, we will keep on uh, removing the element. Just as 5 will remove the element and then we got 11, so this will be an answer, right? So if you see, we have 3. Six and eleven answer होते, right? Correct? तो इसका intuition क्या है यार कैसे हो रहा है यार कि देखो हमने जब reverse कर दिया, right? तो हमें बस एक max node maintain करने की जरूरत है। Let's say three हम इस node को बोल देंगे कि हमने सबसे पहले से कौन-कौन किया तो ये हमारा max node होगा। और जब तक इससे कोई बड़ा node नहीं मिल जाता, we'll keep on removing it। क्योंकि हमें चाहिए भी तो वही था। Let's say let's talk about in terms of this. Six से हमें क्या चाहिए था कि right में जितने भी हो सब छोटे होने चाहिए, right? So if we are seeing in the opposite direction, तो हम इसका opposite देखेंगे, correct? ठीक है। तो we just need to reverse the list। अब हमें traverse यहाँ से तो कर लिया हमने, but वो traversal करने के लिए, so link list में there is a very standard problem that is to reverse a link list, right? So we will reverse the link list so so that we can traverse from the last element to the first element. So if we reverse it, the link list will look like three to six, five and eleven. Correct. Now we'll start traversing from here. We'll mark this node as let's say current and we'll mark this node as max node. Okay. And I will just check if my the element next to it, if it is smaller, then definitely this should not be a part of our answer, right? So I will just check if current dot next 
if current dot next is greater than current dot next dot data if it's less than my max node then definitely we need to remove it and we will appoint this at temp right so we need to remove this node so that is why we are appointing this reference in a variable as well so that we can just say that current dot next current dot next is equals to nothing but temp dot next right so current dot next nothing but temp dot next right so now now if you see that this this value again will be compared and you can see that this value is greater than my current value right okay so it will be updated to as current and max node again here and again i will traverse i will see the next node again it is smaller than my current node so i will again point it to temp and then i again say current dot next to temp dot next i will point this node as current and max node but now you can see that you have you have ended you have no such elements left right so definitely if i just write a pseudo code for you so what would be the stopping condition that if current dot next right is not equals to null then you need to keep on processing it right so now what we need to check that if current dot next dot data right that means we are at this node if it is smaller if it is smaller than let's say max node dot data right then you need to mark this as let's say we need to mark this as let's say temp equals to current dot next we stored this reference and then what i will do what the second step was that this was the first step and this was the second we deleted that temp right so for that thing you need to say that current dot next is nothing but temp dot next correct this marks the end of our if condition and then else condition so else in else condition what will happen that you do not have the next node value lesser than your max node right just like here 3 ke baad 5 ho jata so if case mein jata hi nahi if case would not have been done and this 5 would also be an answer to hum kya karenge jab ye hamara current tha to hum kuch nahi karenge bas yahan pe is current ko point kara denge correct aur ye hamara max node ban jayega so in the else case what i will do i will write current is equals to nothing but current dot next and max node i'll update my max node value as well is equals to current so this would be my else condition and that is it i guess just maintain some pointers that is current the max node and the temp and this will serve our purpose right but one more thing that you first need to reverse it so the first thing would be that you reverse the list you reverse the list then you do the second thing second process as here mentioned in the pseudo code now if you see that the answer the answer you will get would be reversed as well you get 3 6 and 11 but the actual answer for this test case was 11 6 and 3 so that means after you got an answer that's a reversed answer so you need to call the reverse function again reverse the answer list again right so for so we need to make a helper function reverse so i have made a video on this uh, reverse the linked list it must be showing up here now and you, uh, also you can just traverse to my linked list please and you can see this problem right but in a nutshell let me give you just a very small that how we are doing it right so let's say you have this list 1 2 3 and null so what you need to do you you have some current pointer here you have some previous pointer here which is pointing to null because in the uh, in the destination or in the final list what you will have you will have one will be pointing to null and then 3 2 1 right so that is why we are maintaining a previous pointer so the first step here is goes as that you first of all initialize this next pointer to just the current dot next so that's the first step and that's how i remember so so the first step is nothing but next is equals to current dot next right then the second step the second step is to appoint this one to null right appoint this one to so that is why we will say current dot next is equals to previous right and then what i will do now this previous will be point will be marked as the reference of this current right so i the for this, the third statement will be that my previous is now equals to current and now this current will be shifted to this next pointer to repeat the same set of steps right so i will say my current is nothing but next right if you see in the second iteration what will happen so i'm just giving an overview overview i think if you if you have just uh, done this question then it would be a re revision for you else you else you need to watch that video again right so what will happen in the second iteration you have 2 3 and null which you will store next here and the current is here and one is pointing to null and this one has a reference of previous right so we will do the second step again so we will again point current to previous we will appoint previous to current right so what will happen so how the list will look like that two is pointing to one one is pointing to null and this current is now this thing and next has now pointed to null right 
so this three would be nothing but current and this is null right so till your current not equals to null right so while if you are at this three and this reference is three uh, this reference is current right so you need to check while current is not equals to null you need to repeat these steps and you will get your final list as three two one and null right so that was a revision for you guys so i don't think that was required but still i have made clear uh, that extra part as well so please now you did your duty is to pause this video here and before pausing it let us dis uh, discuss the time complexity as well so time complexity uh, uh, obviously the reversal the reversal of the linked list is taking you of o of n right and this thing is also again giving you o of n and we are calling again reverse so o of 3n ignoring the constant it would be o of n what would be the space complexity we are not using any additional data structure to store anything we are just using some pointers some references so it would be o of 1 and if you do the constraint analysis again so it is 10 power 5 so which is less than 10 power 8 so definitely our code will get successfully submitted if we code this approach in our code writer so please pause this video here now and try to code this approach by yourself and then we can move ahead with the java and c plus code okay so that's the code for method 3 and, and as you can see the compilation has been passed successfully let us hit the submit button meanwhile i'll give you a very quick code walkthrough so we have made a helpful function reverse and we know how that how that is working i've explained you in brief in this video as well else you can see my explicit video uh, specific video on reversal of the linked list right so okay great all the test cases have been passed successfully as well so the first step was to reverse the current list and then we need to compare this right using this while loop we have already discussed in the dry run so i don't think again i should discuss it again great and at the last the answer list which we have got we need to reverse it again to get the actual answer right and that's it that's it that's it for the java code that's it for the method t method 3 so again this is the c plus code now so let me just scroll it through and i hope it will make sense i will not give you again a walk through here so let us hit the submit button for the c plus code as well and do not worry uh, you can start and fork my dsl repository to get help with to get help with the source code i will mention the link of my dsl repository in the description so let's just wait for the submission and then we shall end this video okay great so it has been passed successfully so let us meet in the tomorrow streak of day 306 and the continuation of our link list till then keep learning keep growing bye bye and take care guys